Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to make a video comparing the Klein VDV Scout Pro 2 tester kit with the brand new Klein VDV Scout Pro 3 tester kit. Okay, and this video is inspired by a viewer uh, writing in and asking if this uh, VDV 500-123 probe, it's called a probe pro, uh, will work with the older tester. So I thought I'd, I'd answer that and I'd do a comparison at the same time. Now right away, uh, one thing you're probably wondering about is the price. Now I, I've already done a video on this one right here, the, the VDV Scout Pro 3. And VDV stands for Voice, Data, and Video. Okay, so these are both testers for Voice, Data, and Video. So this Pro 3, when I did the video on it, it was $125, and today it's $89. So that's a lot better. And this one, when I did the first video, was $89, and now it's $84. But I think I'm going to be able to show you that this is well worth an extra $5. In fact, this one's, I believe, is being kind of phased out, because I was shopping for it today, and it's just limited quantities available. The, the Scout Pro 3 is definitely replacing the Scout Pro 2. Both of these testers come with location mapping ID remotes, five for data and five for video. So that's the same. You see that the uh, Scout Pro 3 is a little bigger. It's, it's got a little more uh, area here to take hits and so forth. See, it's got a nice bumper included there and it's got uh, more robust areas on the side. To turn the Scout Pro 3 on, you just press the on button, it goes right on, and then one more short press, and you get the backlight. So that's, that's really nice. That's a nice improvement over the Scout Pro 2. The Scout Pro 3 has something that is called Hub Blink. See the word Hub is blinking there, and it has this little symbol of a chain connected. Hub Blink identifies a port location on a hub or a switch. And the Scout Pro 2 does not have this feature. On the Pro 3, hub link is found on the same button as the toner. So you just short press. This is the symbol for toner right here. The two music symbols. And this is a symbol for data. So now you're ready to tone data. Here I have a data cable. And I've spread out all eight wires of the data cable. Let me go through these different tones for you. Okay, I, I tend to like this 1400 tone better. Okay, so here we'll go through all the wires. And it's this one right here, the white orange. A lot of you probably already knew it was going to be white orange. So we'll go to the next wire. Two. And of course it's the orange. You see it it lights up right here too. Uh, it has a little strength button that lights up. On the uh, Pro 3 there's five different tones. We'll have it on high low one. And we're looking for, for uh, wire number two. And there it is right there. So you see it's got little different tones. There's high, low, high low one, high low two. Both testers have a built-in remote that comes out of the unit. And the Pro 3 uh, does RJ11 and RJ12, RJ45, and it does coaxial on the remote. On the Scout Pro 2, we have RJ11 and 12, RJ45, but there's no uh, remote for coaxial on the remote number one. So there's another advantage for the Scout Pro 3. So this will look the same uh, on the bottom, but when you pull them out, there is a difference. On the Scout Pro 3, you can plug a data cable into the top of the unit and into remote number one, and you press the data button, 
and it will show you that all eight pins align and that this is ID number one right here and it says pass. And on the Scout Pro 2, it will do the exact same thing. Here's your ID number one, here's pass, here's all the aligned pins, but the screen is much smaller and there's no backlight. But here's a remote one and here's the data cable. The tests are the same, but you can see the difference in the screen and the backlight. On the Pro 3, you can attach a coaxial cable onto the tester and onto remote one and then you press video and it will tell you whether it's good or not this in this case it is it's pass and id number one or you can use a mapping id in this case this mapping id is number five so we have uh, id number five pass so uh, that's a difference in that you can use either your remote or the mapping IDs with the Scout Pro 3. Now here's the biggest difference between these two testers. You see, this cable is cut about halfway through right here. So on here I have pressed the length button. You see, the Scout Pro 2 doesn't have the length button. The length button will tell you where a problem is in a cable. Okay, so there's, there's eight wires in this. Okay, so this is about a two foot long cable right here. Okay, so wires seven and eight are okay because it says two feet. Now if I press uh, this arrow button right here, we go to um, wires number one and two which is saying it's one feet long. So the problem in wires one and two is at one feet. And you see that it's right here at one feet. So that's the problem area. That's how you know where to go fix your cable. And you press it one more time. Uh, three and six is again two feet. So three and six go all the way through. So that is your length function. It's a two foot cable. It's telling you it's two feet long and it's telling you that there's a problem uh, at one feet. The Scout Pro 2 doesn't do that at all. Both testers will tell you if there's an open fault, a short fault, a miswire fault, or split pair fault. And both testers give you cable identification. Also, both testers give you auto power off and low battery indication. Both detectors will tell you if the cable is shielded. So in conclusion, the Scout Pro 3 is quite an advancement over the Scout Pro 2. It, it looks more rugged, the screen is much nicer, much more visible, uh, the length function is really a nice feature, an important feature. It has the hub blink feature uh, that the Scout Pro 2 does not have and it has backlight. All in all, I would highly recommend if you haven't purchased one of these to go with the Scout Pro 3. It's much better and it's just a few dollars more and very well worth it. I'll put links in my video description for the Klein Scout Pro 3, the Klein Scout Pro 2, and I'll put a link for the Klein Probe Pro, which is sold separately. It expands the capabilities of the VDV testers, but it's not included uh, with them. And I'll put a link for the Klein Ratcheting Modular Crimper and the Klein Non-Ratcheting Modular Crimper, which is a little lighter and a little cheaper. Uh, I prefer the ratcheting one. And I'll put a link for the new Klein 8-in-1 1,000-volt insulated screwdriver set. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.